Hi guys, Keith Arkmer Farms. It's mid-May uh, 2021. Um, not sure when this video is coming out because of all of the stuff we've been doing around the farm here recently. But I'm getting ready to switch out my Wonder Bar from my cultivating rig to the potato plows because, I don't know if you can see it over there, yeah, it's way back in the distance over there. It's time to, there we go, it's time to start hilling up the potatoes. So, let me show you. So, this is a Wonder Bar. I'm sure you've probably seen it in other videos I've shot. It's uh, from Woodward Crossing. Basically, it's toolbar. Two inch square bars. You can mount a bunch of different implements on. Right now, I have a bunch of Danish S tines on here. I got uh, the two row option with the uh, second bar, which works great for cultivating out there. Um, I'll show you all that later, but you can kind of see out there where that looks nice and cultivated. And all the way out there in that field block and that field block. I've cultivated it with that, which is working great, except for the fact that I had sun hemp out there, which turned into a nightmare because these things here, grab it and pull it. So I had a pile at the end of every single pass, which you can't see it. I got one more out there and I even burned it beforehand. Anyway, it was a mess, but I'm getting ready to change this out and I'm going to put on my uh, hillers. To go hill potatoes now i won't be hilling the potatoes tonight we do that tomorrow but i'm going to get the bar switched out pretty simple um as i've talked about in previous videos none of the bolts and nuts on this thing are the same so each one of these pieces and parts all different so what i've got is i should have them hanging out here crescent wrench ratcheting wrench ratcheting wrench is for the more common pieces like that hold the flat bars for the uh, tire track erasers and the hillers. Be these back here. I got the ratchet wrench for that. And I've got the crescent wrench for basically all the rest of the bolts. So I'm gonna loosen up these ones here, these ones here. That'll enable me to take off the uh, extension bar, drop this back bar off altogether. And then I will uh, take off the Danish S tines here and Pull off the tire track erasers because they're just hanging out there. I never actually took them off. They'll just slide right off the end. And then we'll get the uh, hillers on there. So we'll get started. Okay, so for each of these parts, I'm just going to loosen these nuts. And then we should just be able to slide it out. A um, lot of nut and bolting. Not too for terribly exciting. But we'll just go ahead and get started. They all have lock washers on them as well, so... They are fairly tight until you break them free. But you know when you get them free because they move right away. But this is where a good crescent wrench comes in handy. So you'd be better if I had uh, some kind of pneumatic tool or a battery powered ratchet, but a lot more expensive than one of these. I actually picked up a set of big ones and I got medium ones and small ones for these. Picked up from my local Chinese tool company because trust me, it is very needed when working with one of these. But basically, pretty simple. It comes right off, and we'll set it aside, go around, do it to the other side, and this whole bar will drop off. Then I'll pick up the uh, three-point again, start dropping my S times, which same thing, hold the nut on the top, use wrench on the bottom. So the S times, here's the other set of crescent wrenches I bought. Same thing, grab one at the top, grab one on the bottom. 
loosen up. The ones on the end are the easiest to get because they're outside of the bar. Just loosen them up. They slide right off. Then, same thing with the uh, tire track remover clamps. They, they clamp the square bar in. That's what I've got the ratchet wrench for. It's because it makes this a lot easier doing this. And these are usually in closer. Slide right off. From there, grab my other piece, which holds a round bar, which is what the uh, Hillers use. Put this towards the back. Not 100% certain of where I'm gonna go with this. I think I'm gonna start with my furthest out point and push in, and then as it goes, I will adjust back in until I kind of figure out where exactly is best to start hilling. So I'm actually going to go out. I've got uh, marks on this bar. So I'm going to go out to my full four foot mark on both sides. I've got a four foot center mark and a four foot center mark. And then use a ratchet wrench again. And we'll just snug that thing down. So we got a good tight hold. I'll repeat on the other side. So now the last part is uh, loading my disc up for the hiller. It's just uh, well, that's about a 15 inch disc. They're mounted on about one inch shaft. I got these directly from uh, Woodward Crossing. Just going to bring them up. I had a mark on them last time. I don't remember where it's at. But then they're square nuts. Well, square bolt heads. So you need to tighten down and get them lined up right. Basically what we're doing is making sure the disc, the front of it, is lined up with the, because all the discs have a curve to them, kind of like this. So you want the front curve to be lined up with the back tire so it curves, goes straight with it and then brings in. And it takes the dirt and it pushes it in as it rolls through. So it'll pick it up and toss it over. Basically more than anything, get them lined up just about right. And we'll go through, again, our crescent wrench. And we will tighten these down. There's three bolts on each of them. That way you make sure you got a good hold on them. Just get them snugged up the rest of the way. And like I said, I'm not gonna be running this bar until tomorrow. Because it's getting late now, the sun's going down. That way I'm all set up and ready to go for tomorrow. Liking the way that looks. I'll go around, repeat on the other side. So, in just a few minutes, I went from my original cultivator, double row, seven tine, S tine, days, uh, tines with sweeps, to a hiller. All with the same toolbar that's why this thing right here is literally a game changer for anybody that has a small farm and a small tractor i mean as you can see i got a little baby tractor it's by grandpa's old kubota tractor it's uh oh i think it's a 79 if i remember right a little b71 16 horsepower tractor so very small perfect for market gardening because as I've talked about in previous videos, the inside of the wheelbase, after you move the rear tires out, is 30 inches. It goes over a 30 inch bed perfectly, without any problem. And then the tires are thin, so there's nothing to worry about. You can actually run down an 18 inch uh, walk path. You probably even make them smaller. But we run the 18 inch path, a 30 inch bed, so everything's a four foot on center like usual. But this thing has been just a dream. I mean, I had the there it is the potato plow on there that I did to plant the potatoes which Woodward Crossway was great with they couldn't get it in they actually had it drop shipped to me which was awesome the people over there are great to work with um, same thing when I ordered the uh, extensions or the extension bars and another bar and I did that specifically to lay landscape fabric out with never actually did that 
might do it in the future. I'm not 100% certain on that. But I needed three more cultivators to make it a double row cultivator because I already had everything. And lo and behold, I called them up and had them help me out with it because I couldn't figure out what I was doing online. And again, great customer service. They sent it out, had it within two days. I was able to actually go out and cultivate. There's a half acre there. And these other two acre blocks out here, which I've gone through twice now. Beautiful, works great. And that's something I never could have imagined doing before by hand when working on, you know, the half acre that we are right now on the farm. So, I mean, all in all, I love the tool. It's a great tool. I'm not endorsed by them. They've never given me a thing for free, but I'd really like that bed lifter to try on my little tractor if they're listening. But I've tried that before and they still have it. Either way, uh, I'm going to go put the tractor away for tonight. I got it all set up for tomorrow. I've got the hillers on here. We're going to uh, go hill potatoes. I don't know if this is going to work with this distance out four foot. I hope it'll throw it up enough to get it actually onto the potatoes. And if not, we'll just keep moving it in. If I got to move it into the center, I've got to take it apart. Fine by me. So we'll see you all tomorrow. And uh, well, see you here in a couple seconds. So it's the next day now. Went and uh, set this up last night. Got a little bit more where I wanted it. Um, turned out need to turn my discs in a little bit further. Get a good shot right here. Yeah, I had to turn them in and in like that to push up a little bit more dirt. Um, it's easiest if I drive with the bucket up because I can just follow the arrow on the front of the tractor straight down the potato line. But what I'm going for is what I've got right here, straight down the row. I've got nice mounded up dirt. Let me turn you around here. There we go. Get you. There we are. So it's nice and mounted up. We got a very good mount on the potatoes. And uh, it's like kale there. But that's what we're aiming for. The ones at the beginning are a little short, so we didn't get as much. But we got a really good, really nice mound all the way down the row. Now we're going to do the same to this one. So I'm just going to run uh, first gear high. I'm going to drop the uh, hiller down all the way to the ground, leave the lever forward so it'll do its thing. I'm not going to force it down or have it sit. It'll pull along, should hill it up nice, and we'll get some shots of it for you. So, I actually had to make a couple passes on that. I did two down, so I could actually get the shots of it. And then I did one back up, because it turns out one of my discs is slanted in a little bit more than the other. So it's throwing more dirt up on this side than it was on this side. But when I came back the other way, it pushed up this side, did a really good job. The one thing I do get a little bit of, which I'm not really sure if it matters or not, I get some of the plants buried a little deep. But like I said, I'm not, 100% certain that that matters. I've never really hilled potatoes with a tractor. So, but from everything I've seen online and other YouTube videos of people that look like they know what they're doing, it looks like I did it right. I believe, I guess the uh, proof will be when uh, comes harvest time, which will be about a month and a half to two months from now. So uh, that pretty much does it for today. And yesterday, one bar toolbar, awesome. Great for cultivating potatoes, all kinds of other cool stuff. We dig the potatoes with it. I plant the potatoes with it. Um, I'm sure there's other things I'll find to do with it too. But hope you all like what you saw today. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you all. Have a good day.